Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though, Heist Man? The folk talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. I know y'all heard about Rick Flair, this pizza shop he was at, man. Pizza shop called Pisano's in Gainesville, Florida. It's probably about seven to eight miles away from my house, man. I'm I live in Gainesville now, man. It's crazy, but he didn't got kicked up out of there or something like that, man. I guess he was out there chilling because his um granddaughter or his daughter, I don't know which one it was, but they had a um, graduation. She graduated from the University of Florida, and you know they stopped to get something to eat. They was chilling, Looked like a happy family, man. But yo, it ain't go like that, yo. Woo! This is my Ric Flair tour I got for y'all, man. I gotta gotta bring out Rick for this, yo. But yo, it's footage of him. At this restaurant that just came out, man. Um, I seen it on TikTok. Somebody named Business Eleven. Yo, check this out. Yo, it's kind of low, so y'all gotta bear with me, man. But they did put the um the captions out there so y'all can read it and stuff and see the stuff he said and was going on, man. You can tell his words slurring. Yo, check this out. No, ma'am, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollar tip just to say to him, kiss my ass. If you walk outside here, I know you are you're disrespecting me. How am I disrespecting you? Tell me to leave. I'm not telling you to leave. We're just telling you that you're cut off. Oh, I'm cut off because I'm not really. Yes, sir. It don't matter if you're banned or not. It's your man. That man, ma'am, ma'am, please give yourself a thousand dollar tip. All right, all right. All right. All right. This guy and I are so cool. She and I are cool. And long come the gift. You don't have to call me that guy. I never said it. I never did. I got, I got, I got, I'll say it again. You're a gift. You have to get out of here right now. Oh, I'm leaving. Trust me. I won't come back yet. Come on outside here and talk to me like a man. I'm not going to do that because I'm on the clock. <laughs> you for sure. You are the pussy clock. No, I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i am sorry i Hey, see, as y'all can see, he want to smoke with everybody, man. He try to fight the customers. He try to fight the clients. He try to fight everybody. Um, cost money Egyptian. I don't know what that's about, man. Woo! But he was he ready for the smoke, man. My wife she told me about it because I didn't even know about it. This happened, like I said, this happened in Gainesville. She's like, "Oh, Yo, you ain't heard about Ric Flair?" I'm like, "No, I haven't Ric Flair." And she told me it was like, um, maybe it was like he was alcohol. It was alcohol involved, man. When I first heard about it, it was like um, he was getting into it with somebody over the bathroom, like he was in there too long. And my first initial thought was like, "Yo, he in there doing a bump, probably. He, you know, doing some bathroom coke, doing his thing, or maybe he was in there, with, you know." Getting it off, getting it on with uh, one of the wait staff or something, and you know the the chef got mad or something. I don't know, cause y'all know, you know he be doing this thing, man. Rick Flair. That's what I thought about. It was like he in the bathroom too long. I said, yeah, he doing a bump, or he doing a hump. And you know he loved the ladies, man. He loved the ladies, especially on them airplanes, yo. If y'all know Rick Flair, this is footage of Rick Flair doing something to something to something. I don't know what it is, man. But he be. You know, he got this little thing going on in them airplanes. Y'all seen Dark Side of the Ring? Ooh, they say he like to flash people on them airplanes, man. So I don't know if that's true or not, but he like part of the Yin Yang Twins now. Wait till you see my... Ooh! <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Wait till you see my dick, hey, bitch. I don't know. This is me, man. I don't know I don't know the story, but y'all seen it, man. He was kind of slurring his... He was drinking... He's having a good old time, and I don't know. That's just the story I've seen came out, man. It's just a funny. I just had to report on it, or not report, but talk about it just because it happened in my neighborhood, man. Um, I wish I'd have known he was down here. I probably would have went over there and. <gasps> and Mr. Flair, can you sign my autograph? Can you sign my toy? <laughs> 
Nah, man, he was out there chilling with his family, man, and I don't know what else happened, but um, you can tell like he was he was slurring, he was slurring his shit, man. He was, you wanna go outside? I'm still thinking about he called somebody an Egyptian. Is that kind of what's that all about? He's gonna point out their race or ethnicity or whatever. I'm playing with this damn Rick Flair, so I'm over there. Woo! About to chop somebody in their chest. Anyway, man, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. You just gotta come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All these good buttons you gotta hit to get this pimp that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. Tell me, do you think Rick Flair was drinking too much? Were he having a, too much of a good time? Were they fucking with him? Why he can't take long in the bathroom? He minding his business. He giving y'all business. They say he spent about eighteen hundred dollars in there. You know he had a little family with him. Um, you know they spent a little bread. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people. Nineteen hundred dollars, nine people. Well, eighteen hundred nine people. Maybe you was like I said. Maybe you was getting it on with the wait staff and somebody got mad. But you had your wife with you, so I don't know, man. I can't be throwing these allegations out there against old old Rick. But y'all know what I mean, man. Have fun with it as, y'all, as I'm doing right now. My just mind just went all kind of other places when I thought about it. Like, hey, in the bathroom, what's he doing? It's taking so long. Why they mad at him in in the bathroom? But it seemed like he was just drunk as hell. And you never know. Anyway, I'll let your boy Heist Man the Four talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right, this time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.